Okay, wow. <laughs> Sing Gist. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Sing is right here. Hey, hey, oh, wow. good people. Welcome to another episode of your favorite lunch hour show. Yes, if you are a true East Flash viewer, then I'm sure you already know the Tuesday tradition. Expect good music and lots and lots of movie talk, guys. Yes, right. sir. So make sure you don't miss out on any good stuff. Stay connected with us online. We are TV's Connect with the hashtag East Flash on TBC. TBC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Roy I, and this is Flannis. I go by the name King OJ. Well, you can call me OJ. That's where it is. It, it is, is what it is. is. <laughs> it's your home girl right here. It's your girlfriend next door. It's a jewel in the crown. It's your hostess with the missus. My name is Honey Potts, of course. Yes. Okay, are we done? <laughs> All right. And my name is Amanda Dara. Yesterday, I gave you guys a new name. And I saw somebody on social media -E say E-M-I-D-E-E. -E. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's A-M-Y. D E E. -E Why is it so confused? No. -E -E. Yeah, it's also your band name, Bruce. Emmy. 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 Wow. Oh, oh I get it now. Interesting, interesting <laughs> stuff. Is that it's Amy D, not so Emmy D. Is that, is that <laughs> Action taken? Yeah, that for the week. Yes. For the week. Mm. Amy D. Okay, Amy D. Yeah. How did you even come about that? Amy. Amanda. Then D. Dara. Ah. Guys, it's so We start off. With the entertainment news and celebrity <laughs> birthday shout out. Then, of course, a tweet we brought to us by our man, Amy D. Thank yeah. you. Amy D. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, we'll be joined by an actor as the first half of the show winds down. Then we'll chew it up and take the news recap. And, of course, later we'll tell you all about the movies and TV shows we currently watched or are currently watching. Uh, then, on top, we'll take a look at five movies that we are anticipating this year. And, finally, we'll bring you movies at the movies. That's right. Such a packed show. We better get started right away. Yeah. See you soon, guys. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> So my sister, Wako, my yep. brother, Hustle. Hey, 2021, my year of, my year of, you just sit down. Don't worry, you're busy, uh, hey. <laughs> You just sit down. What? Hustle. And I saw something very funny. Go Ashiri down, and Arole, mm. they said, you have been writing everything, my year of restoration. <laughs> my ah, year of, yesterday, uh, that was the My year show. of, uh. the thing is, they said, you have not piled everything up yet, and it's not like a diary. Yeah. My brother, my sister, <laughs> when are you going to start? <laughs> <laughs> huh? so, you know what? Hustle. So. Hustle. Gotta help you. <laughs> All right now, guys, let's get straight into the entertainment news. Mm. They call back Chieftain's title. Big Brother Niger reality show winner <laughs> Lekan has been conferred with a chieftaincy title. According to reports, the reality star was installed as the Akeweje of Ipokia Kingdom in Ogun State. His installation was done by the Onipokia of Ipokia or by Yisa Adeshola Olaniyo at the 2021 for day celebration held at the district high school, Ipokia, where his mom was a student during the ceremony. The Onipokia stated that they call as an indigent of Ipokia truly deserved the title of Akeweja, describing him as a good ambassador to Ipokia and a positive inspiration to all Nigerian youth. <laughs> <laughs> so, she's going to just go to speak, brother. Last, see, last, last, bro, last, 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 this, this one, that, that one, this but, here. But, but you, let, see, but wow. you see those car one. I thought they stopped that car situation in yeah, 2020. Yeah, which can't stop anything. Um, beginning of this year, uh, it was next birthday, uh -huh. and they said that fans gave a, yes, a ring. Yes, that one. Did. It's another juice. They did. 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 They it's difficult to give those people money, but this table is everything that I'm uh, okay. 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 And then you're now still donating or contributing. I mean, it's the power of fans. So you now say, yeah. fans. I now say, maybe mm. this person is even getting it twisted. How about asking the question? Are they real fans or are they saying the fans? Who is the fan that has come okay. out to say that I am one of the people? Okay, who has Okay, off your mic. Some honorable. people uh -huh. off your mic. <laughs> I mean. Well, let's just leave it like that. Let's go back to Lakers. Yeah. Just as the title. Um, what are you guys thinking about that? 
Amazing, amazing, amazing. From where he grew up, where he's from. Well, Akewe J is actually something about kids. Uh, that is, yeah. uh, you are youth. you are youth an ambassador. you are youth an, youth an, an, an youth ambassador, and you're you're leading. And it's an icon. You're leading. Yeah. You're ah. leading by. And icon. And you're leading by example. Uh, do, you, do you know what I actually which feel? I actually feel it's well house. deserved. However, I don't. You know, I'm yet to see impact of. Let me just keep quiet and just You'll say congratulations. Elite. Talk and what, talk what no, you want to say. I'm just elite. going to say that I want to see his impact as a chief. That's all I'm going to hey, say. But do you live in Ikokia? <laughs> That's my point exactly. So why are you giving him it's something? Is he, going to, is he going to be there? It's for, the, it's for his people. It's his people that conferred him that say, you are from Yale. We all know you because you're a good example. Take. So when he comes, what? They, they, they've done their details, they've written their contract, they know what to do. So if they don't elect... That's all. We don't know. So, we need to so, ask him. So, he comes on the so what oh, was... he's the one that is going to be done because, you know, when people make you uh, yeah. matron or... Yeah, people are... Yeah. Once you buy a new car, they will say, some sort of allowance. Then they will just start making you uh, something some, so that you'll be bringing money. Yeah. I do hope that he is able to actually impact them positively, financially, you know, they're not just boreholes and all those kind of things. Like, actual... I mean, something, man. Okay. Let's just move on to more so news. When, re, put, eh? put some respect on, the on name. his name. It's so Chief. it's not Chief, Chief. Lecon. Okay, so the next time, Shai, can make OJ or Amanda a patron of... Uh, I mean, in Nigeria, because they are capable. No. You know, they have been making some yeah. mad money. I'm just trying I'm, to... Sorry, eh? on the like, pot, on I, the mean, I thought they would give us money. No, no. you'll be... Uh, I'll be people say, come and be our patron. No, on the pot. I'm no, real, so I can't come down to the church. To come no, to church. Wow. Be a patron. You can be a patron. Okay, I tell you, I just say all A grand, a grand patron, because I'm royalty. Because you have the money to even spend too. <laughs> well, we are seeing it now. Do I, do I have the money? Uh -uh. What you are said you that you are royalty What are you now. saying? A whole royalty like I'm taking like care you. of my village now. Will I now be spending money Your village is Spain? Down? Yes, now in Valencia in Spain. <laughs> Real news, though, guys. No, <laughs> what OJ say? I don't understand. Ali Baba shares coronavirus experience. Veteran Nigerian comedian Ali Baba has come out to reveal that he contracted COVID-19 and just came out of isolation. Ali Baba took to his Instagram page to share a video where he slammed individuals who still think that the virus is not real. Captioning the video, he wrote, and I'm quoting, COVID is real. Don't let anyone tell you it's a scam. I just came out of isolation. Several people died while I was there. Some of my very close friends knew, and they were very supportive. He also used the opportunity to appreciate the Lagos State Governor and the Commissioner of Health for managing the COVID centers in Yaba, as well as the doctors and nurses risking their lives. He ended by writing, in fact, anyone who says COVID is scam is a compound idiot and a fool. Take a look at this video. Let me tell you, people are dying. Pastors, doctors, professors, billionaires, poor men, less privileged, people are dying every day. Those numbers you see are not fake. The test, the people who have been self-medicating and, and to make it worse, I spent all my Christmas and New Year in isolation. What I just want to let you know is COVID is real. COVID is real. I was in room four and I can tell you that from room one to five, the number of people that were taken out because they died. I have spoken with the boss who have survived. I've spoken with people who attended parties and two days later died. This COVID is real. Don't let anybody, if Gio is wearing mask, the Gio is wearing mask. He's telling people to be careful are you pray more prayerful than the geo? Anybody that tells you that COVID is a scam, don't trust the person. Take it from me. Anyone that tells you that COVID is a scam, don't, don't, don't listen to the person again. COVID is killing and people are dying. You need to be careful and watch yourself, protect yourself, clean your hands, protect yourself, wear your mask and be safe. Wow.
Yes, the ace comedian now joins a list of celebrities who have contracted and recovered from the coronavirus. And this is yes. very, very true. Yeah. I still see people who say that it is not true. Yeah. And more than ever, because uh, the wave two is such a very serious one, because people that we know one on one, you know, uh, the first wave, it was still like, oh, maybe somebody was, was, was far away, or people that it's you care, or you know somebody that knows somebody. But this time around, and I, I, still, I was still talking to somebody who thinks that, oh, the government, they are just I mean, they're just using it, please, because they'll say, oh, Nigerians, we have immunity and all that. People are really, really dying, yeah, and yeah. people should really people be careful. People are dying, mm -hmm. especially the elderly ones. And even if you're thinking, oh, I'm young, my immune system is good, whatever it is, it actually leaves a lot of impact. Like, if you get it, there's some things that actually happen to you in your body. Your organs have you know, issues that you didn't have before. And if you don't still care about that because you think you're young and you can buy kidney in the markets, think about the elderly people around you. Yeah. Your parents, mm -hmm. your aunties, your uncles, these people are, are not uh, as immune to this as you are. So, so be responsible. Think, so you even think uh, that it is not even about being young because some people have underlying illnesses you know. that yes, they don't even know yes, about. Yes. We've seen young people die of yes, this. I yes. know somebody who was in the word with the former... Uh, uh, governor of uh, or your state, oh, yes. Ajimobi. Ajimobi. And uh, they spent a lot. It, it went into coma. It, it just took, in fact, it took God's grace for him to come back to life. And then mm -hmm. somebody would now open mm -hmm. their mouth to what? And, and I say I that it does not exist. I love how he brought in the prayerful angle. Yes. You know, people, a lot of people think that uh, my faith is enough to cover me. You know, Jesus is the no, ultimate you healer. Not of Jesus which is Nigeria, true. You see, you which see, is true. You see this church but conversation I, as regards this virus is something that we cannot say. Because on one hand, some pastors are saying... Forget it. It's a 5G. It's a this. It's a that. On the other hand, some other men of God are saying, ah, this thing is real. Protect yourself. It's like the GO is wearing, wearing his own mask. Who are you? But other persons are saying, forget. But it's just crazy, man. I don't know. Be it's prayerful. First experience be, what I would say is be prayerful, but wear your mask, sanitize, wash your hands. Just do both, okay? That's all we can take on the entertainment news for today. That's right. Now let's mm -hmm. get right into the celebrity birthday shout out. Yeah! Alphabetical order. Bradley Cooper is 46 today. Yay! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. The multiple award winning versatile actor and filmmaker has starred in films such as Wedding Crashers, The Hangover, Silver Linings, Playbook, American Sniper, and A Star is Born, amongst other notable films. Yeah. Like, Show me star, a film with him, I'm going to watch a it. A Star is what? Born with Lady Gaga. What? I was just thinking after that particular movie, they will start dating. Because the chemistry was top notch. <laughs> so, intense. I think he has a theme about chemistry. Ah, Maybe he has a theme with women. Enter the character, there man. There are hardly any films I've seen him in what acts with a, mm -hmm. uh, a female actress or a female actor yeah. that the Gets chemistry is not like, intense. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. He's such it is a, a natural. I actor. think there are people yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, so moving on. Jason Mitchell is 34 today. <laughs> He's an American actor best known for portraying rapper Izzy E in the 2015 biopic Straight Out of Compton. Yay! <laughs> Izzy, gangster, gangster rapper in Straight Out of Compton. I still watch it. Yeah. Like, he bodied Izzy's role. Yeah. He bodied it. It makes me feel it. like maybe he had he was, some yeah. rap history or something. <laughs> he was still he actually one. did. Actually. <laughs> love, love, love that. <laughs> Okay, finally here now, you're saying that Orisha Femi is celebrating. <laughs> the singer best known for hits such as Mercies of the Lord, his remake of Felakuti's Double Wahala song, Igbeyao, and other hits is 36 today. But ah, did, you, did you see Nabila, you don't believe the age? <laughs> you think he's nah. older? I don't know. Yeah. I just don't know. I don't know what to believe again these days. This is close you to 40. I can't believe it. Perhaps. Wow. You need to see um, uh, his mm. wife's um, birthday message to him. 
Yeah. So sweet, right? Yeah. And I'm so you're go saying to it. you people that once again, <laughs> my do job not put is my mouth in our matter mind, your business. Happy oh, birthday, wow. Daria, Richard, Femi. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday to other people. Yes, happy today. birthday to everyone mm -hmm. celebrating today. We we'll love you. We we'll celebrate you. And of course, Manny Pani is sending you sweet kisses. It's actually MED. Oh. But yes, wow. Mwah. Wow. Mwah. Mwah. Apologies. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to a free break. And when we come back, we'll still have more right here on the show. Let's go. <laughs> So yes, this is time for our Tweetville, and as you can see, some of the savagery has been gone on yeah, Money Boss' yeah. table. <laughs> All right, let's just do this. Okay. Hmm. Our very first tweet is from Luna, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it's a he that is saying, "I must do DNA for my kids." Okay. For your 85k salary, she be not actually that's a woman. That's how a woman talks. So I have to read it again. <laughs> I must do DNA for my kids. Oh she from your 85k salary, she be. Then Danny Walter and I replied that, y'all that earn 25K but have bone straight and iPhone 12. I thought we were all serving a living God. Yeah. Hey. Ada, and I said, shut up. Who are the you all? <laughs> Danny Walter and I replied, I said, Ada, I was talking about people who earn salary. When we are doing giveaway, I'll call you. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. I'm not going to speak English. Don't jam like that, man. <laughs> what? Uh, My chest. I don't want to look for trouble. Da, who, this Danny. Uh, uh, who, uh, did women offend you? Uh, Why? <laughs> he just has the right this, bass boat. This clap back ah. is epic. When we're doing giveaway, I'll, I'll call, call you. you. Avoid hey. people like Danny Water. They have answers to everything. You're going to... Chai, uh, chai, 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 chai. <laughs> My chest is fading me. I have to move on. So this is... Uh, and it's trending. like, hey. Yeah, it's been trending. Yeah. Say, how are you doing? I'm fine. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> I just met you last week. I'm my birthday tomorrow. It's gonna be. be. In, guy, in, in OJ's voice. Peace out. Be. OJ's to leave group chats. It's gonna be. It's gonna be like, like. Oh, your birthday is tomorrow. You lost your phone. Oh. Tell me about yourself. Shout out. Please. You don't freeze in that position. Wow. Nigerian girls. Oh, wow. Shout out. Shout out. Nigerian shout guys too. Somebody oh. cannot just say that they lost their phone. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. <laughs> That I mean, is, that, is, that is what is paramount <laughs> on no, the person's is, mind that yeah. at that point. <laughs> tell me about yourself. <laughs> Not, have you dismissed something recently? <laughs> I'm <laughs> single, low. I have money. I work low. I, I am single, but I'm, I'm currently having, yes, no, having communication problems. Yes, I'm um, having communication problems. That's why I can't really tell you more about myself. Because you're supposed to download everything. Who bought this one? Let's just move on. One <laughs> say, did you choose tech? Because it pays well. Or because you have a genuine interest for everybody that want to do tech, all right? Okay. And then Jolly O, like uh, St. Nicholas replied I and like said, this. I have a genuine interest in being paid well. Does Epic. that, I mean, yeah, does that answer? answer? I answers. have a passion uh -huh. in being paid well. The it is, yes, it's, it's the best answer. Legit. Uh, what's Legit. the reason? Because I will learn the code. <laughs> <laughs> what's the reason? Nobody. <laughs> Guess pastors waiting to be announced. Then this, is, start. this is epic. Oh. So right here today we have our father and the An Lord from the, from the the way from the Orishigu branch. He yes. is a father of two. And he, they, just like, they, they need to be putting some churches. And then, there are, and then uh. there are not some churches with screens. And, and they will not go and focus uh, the, on the, 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 the pastors. So the thing is that uh, when, <laughs> like you, when you are closer to God, eh? you have to be humble. Uh -huh. So you cannot be saying, it's not like musicians. They say, oh, ladies and gentlemen, give it up, Paul. Uh, and I want to not come up. Oh. Gang, gang. No, no. How? Yes, it's God, is God that is doing it. I said a living God. I'm trying to Let practice just the hand. hand. Yeah, so next time so they hear you, is. you do like this. It's a sign no, of, no, what, you do? Sign, what are you doing? It's a sign I'm, I'm of looking at them humility. very well. Like, do not step on the hey. altar, children of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. OJ, we, we apologize. This is your calling. Are, eh? This is your calling. Yes, because uh, the way you did it, it was actually in practice. Yes. I mean, because I said, yes. you pastor don't, don't let God I was even the other day. I was pastor OJ. God, yes. From your mouth to God. Wow. Hallelujah, so this is God. what you have been planning Glory to be your to retirement God. scheme. Don't let him arrest yesterday, me. Honey, but yesterday, Conde read, this is your year of restoration. This hey. is your year of peace. God, God, God. And he was reading in so much fervency. I even see yes. him 
Hey. In the streets of TVC, <laughs> Ojo will be moving, and then people will be saying that Pastor Ojo will say, Can you God imagine? Bless you. He used to say, God bless you. What did he say this year? He said he wants to get closer to God. Oji, God hey. is calling you. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> What's going to tell you who is connect, whose connection is bad? Because we really be arguing there. True that, true that, yeah. true that. This is me and a lot of people. Because you be like, it's your network. It's your network, it's not mine. I'm on that, I know you. It's your network. <laughs> it's your network. Uh, I can't see, I'm using Wi Fi. Meanwhile, it's your own network. I know. So help us sort out that argument, guys. <laughs> Short girls who come to your house, turn your polo to gown, and be stopped up and down like bush baby. Hello, <laughs> Shelley, why? I don't take this. I'm not taking this lightly. Okay, on 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 that I'm note, not, I'm not taking it lightly. On that ladies and gentlemen, we have to go. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, we have to go. That's it. Sorry, not on that. That's it. That's it. And when we come back, I guess we'll be trying to not try here on the show. Short girls, bush baby. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much for being here with us. And yes. we are super excited because we told you that we'll be having a guest. And, well, our guest is an Arjun actress who came into limelight for her role as Shaliwa in The Skinny Girl in Transit web series. Since then, she has continued to rise from role to role with each role being bigger than the last. You might remember her from the films such as Lara and the Beat, King of Boys, uh, Bling Legosians, and the hit web series, The Men's Club. Or you might remember her for playing the lead role and absolutely killing it in the film Olotere. Her name is Sharon Oja Egurube. <laughs> Your growth, man. Wow. Because I can remember <laughs> that you were on your entertainment for such a long time ago. 2017. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And we were talking about skinny girl in trans yes. then. Yes, I remember. Ah. I remember very well. Well I'm done, girl. Thank you. <laughs> As you know, you look amazing. Thank you. So still talking about your growth. Uh, you recently shared something on your Instagram page about yeah. Olotere, uh, yeah. how you got the movie role, how you were cast about five times. Girl. How would you say that movie has changed your career? To be honest, it has done a lot. Like, mm. things I can't even speak about for now, because I've signed NDAs. Okay. But it has opened international doors, that's for sure. Wow. Yeah. It has, and I want to believe that it would help us put Nigeria furthermore on the map. Mm. But it's been amazing. Like, I've been overwhelmed. Mm. Like, every day I wake up, I'm still like, sometimes I go and put like, ehi! <laughs> <laughs> So, so I like, but some people don't even know I'm the one. Okay. Oh. So sometimes I go out and I hear people talking about the film, and they don't even know that it was me. Wow. Who, yeah. <laughs> but for me, that mat that that means a lot to me because it means they were able to separate, separate. me mm -hmm. from a character. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And that's every actor's dream. Okay. Still, still yeah. talking about Solotere, How did you feel? Did you ever stumble on tweets on social media when the trailer of the movie came out and people were like, ah ah, Sharon Oda, out of the box character. How did you feel seeing all this reaction on social media? I knew it happened. Okay. So I was already prepared. We shot this in 2018, mm. but it came out 2020. Mm. So you can imagine, I already prepped my mind for all the kind of tweets that were going to come out. <laughs> I, see, trust me, my skin was tough. Mm. <laughs> but, but they welcomed me so well. True that. True that. So I was like, okay, this, 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 this is going to work. Love it, I mean, love it. You wrote a lot mm -hmm. uh, talking I about that, that, that post. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So one could actually feed on so, so many things. And yeah. then you said that, um, you know, uh, at, I mean, at the end, you yeah. said, so if God has given you something or done something for you and people are saying, oh, uh, does she deserve it and all that, that don't get this. I'm not, so is it that you've gotten such vibe like, oh, of course you get does that it. even, does she uh, deserve it? Is uh, she supposed to be in that role or something? Did you get that vibe? Of course because you I would think get you are vibe. a sweetheart of so many mm -hmm. people. Yeah. Well, yeah, you are a sweetheart, but some people would just not fancy you. Yeah. Mm. That's normal. And I don't expect everybody to love me. That means something is wrong with me if everybody mm. loves me. I think, I think this particular um, movie that you played actually yeah. broke you out of that box, 100%. that stereotype. Because yeah. a lot of people were like, oh, Sharon Oja, okay, she's going to play this she's kind girl, of She's one person's yeah, girlfriend. Yeah, girlfriend. Please don't hear me old. Don't touch me old. And especially with the ways that you enter the industry. I thought yeah. your story is very, very beautiful. Um, yeah. Just actually being at a photo shoot yes. and then being called in for Skinny Girl in Transit. So just yeah. watching that transition, did you ever go professionally into it or you just kept learning on set? On set. Because even if you go to film school, people who have gone to film school, they'll tell you they will only teach you techniques. And these techniques will still have to come with practicing these techniques. So the best teacher, in my opinion, apart from going to film school, which I'm still going, mm -hmm. is to learn on the go, which is what I've done. Hmm. So, yeah. And back to your question, yes, I did get this vibe. It's normal. 
you will get people who will feel like I've been here before her. My broken English is better than her own. <laughs> but she didn't fail to realize that the character, her broken English was not supposed to be perfect. Hmm. If not, she was not a perf prostitute. Yeah. So she couldn't Undercover. be a perfect prostitute. Hmm. So her broken English had to stand out from the other girls, which is why Iketiku's character said, you know, be prostitute. True. Hmm. Oh, yeah, but those lines will not fit. I see. Because why is he suspecting like she's so perfect at the job? Hmm. But people didn't see from that angle. And then you had to hammer on the fact that it was body double. Thank you. <laughs> I, I saw it. So I was like, okay. <laughs> Have Nigerians grown? Go to hey, the like, level. Okay. So hey. when you are making a movie, when you are playing a Girl, role, it you must go all in. Shall you, tell us did, the did they tell you something? Did they tell you something? I saw tweets like that. Like, I can't believe I'm seeing Sharon. Hey. hey, so I'm seeing Sharon. Thank you guys. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> People like Kojana, we ask me every time. Okay, but, but what is that? Was that you taking a stance saying that you didn't want to, or was there just a provision for it? There was a provision for it, and there was no how I was going to do it. We yeah. haven't grown to that level in Nigeria yet. Hmm. And that's the truth. Our society would not accept it. True. You have to be honest with where you are. Hmm. When people say, oh, in Hollywood, Hollywood has grown to that level. We are still growing. You're not going to force us to run when we're still crawling. Hmm. It's, it's, it's baby steps. Hmm. So by God, obviously, Nollywood will get there. But till we get there, they should appreciate our baby steps. Mm -hmm. The way they appreciate the films in Nollywood, they should appreciate the effort we put in things like this. The fact that we could still put body doubles yeah. and we are willing to be big naked. Deal. Oh, yeah. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> still, 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 um, have you ever rejected a script before? Like you got a script and you're like, no, nah, I can't do this. this. Every day. Mm. Every day. Are you serious? Love it. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Why? What are why? your reasons why? Because you have to, maybe because I've grown so much, you have to be able to see yourself in the character. Because what acting is, is you putting yourself in someone else's shoes. Mm -hmm. If you're telling me something and I can't put myself in your shoes, I would never understand. So when I'm saying it, I can't say it with meaning. Mm. So sometimes I read a script and I'm like, nah. I, I, I can't put myself in your shoes, dear. Mm. Okay, so let, let's talk about your year 2019. I mean, yeah. you featured in a, a couple of amazing films, including yeah. Kambili. Yeah. But yeah. which was your favorite one to be in? Last year? Mm -hmm. Oh, I had... Oh, man, I can't really say fave. <laughs> they all brought different things to the table. Okay. Okay. Lottery brought a totally different spice. Mm -hmm. Men's Club brought something totally different. Put the Boss brought something totally different. Kambili brought something different. So they all came together to make me a happy Sharon 2020. Oh, <laughs> so for you, 2020 was amazing. See, you know how they say on Instagram, almost times 10. Yeah. Yeah. Almost. Oh, <laughs> more. That times 1,000. Yes. Wow. As okay. much as that, I shouldn't say it because it's too exclusive for you guys. But <laughs> we all that. went through shit in 2020. True that, true that. True yeah, that, and true COVID that. is real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I won't say anything, but COVID is real. Me sitting down here mm -hmm. is the grace of God. So wow. COVID mm. is real. Not everybody talks about everything. Did you contract through. it? Not going to say anything, oh, but okay. wear your mask. <laughs> wash your hands. True that, true that. Wash your hands. It is real. True that, true All that. Right. Wash your hands and wear your mask. Mm. All right. 100%. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go on a quick break and check out some things, some acting from Sharon Oja. Mm -hmm. And when we come back, we'll be asking Sharon about her spiritual side and, of course, if there's any man. Hey! If there's, I wanted if, to go if there's there. any man I in her life. Because people would like to know. Of let's, course. Uh -huh. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Thank, thank you for coming. It's okay. Um, Where do you be? The police? You will face them the time when guns. You know we go travel. Run time. Oh, oh, special. Special. <laughs> special. Are you Welcome a special? I am. Oh. Yeah. 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 Considering that you even went all glam to that audition when they said everybody should. Oh, maybe, yeah. Maybe they I saw, saw that, that email. I saw that. The yeah. wig I wore was longer than this. What? And my lashes. What's you gave them. Special? I gave them. <laughs> and I wore the low body. Was wearing makeup. Everybody's hair was natural. Like, I'm in the right place. <laughs> like, legit. I was looking at me. I would never get to such like, ah. Like, like, what's going on? Amongst us. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about your spiritual side. I mean, before we end the break, we want to talk about that. Uh, before we talk about your spiritual side, we want to talk about your relationship side too. I mean, a lot of times people associated you with Timini. Yeah. Uh, you came out to say that you know that's not happening, but not. what's the tea? There's no tea. We just have good chemistry. Oh, okay. What's the tea with your relationship life? Oh, you guys know I'm talk about that. Oh, you talk about that. You you see it on Instagram when I say I'm the guest shock like locker. I said yes. I, no, I said yes. No. Okay. Oh. I said yes. 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 I
because I'm laughing my chocolate. That's my chocolate. Okay, let's go back so Sarah, to your spiritual Sarah, Sarah, side. Sarah, Sarah, mm. do pajamas pictures for us. <laughs> Valentine's Day. For me, me, for me and you. Women. I'll be one of those women. You, you see? suffer when I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> from me, from us to you. I'm so nice. I will post. Yes. You will post. Yes. Oh, yes. I love it. So, Sharon, you know this thing about, oh, people like uh, publicity. They mm. enjoy it so much. Uh, entertainers. But I have noticed that you just don't like stuff like that. Like, you're always trying to keep it. You know what? Please, let me just do this thing and get away from it. Apart from beautiful yeah. pictures, you will not see and her talking about maybe a movie. Mm. You will not see anything. Is that intentional? Yeah, 100%. I'm sure you guys can relate to why I do that as mm -hmm. women in the industry. It's just best to keep it clean. What they don't know, they can't destroy. Mm. What they don't know, they can't talk about. So I don't believe in giving people ammunition to shoot me. Mm. Love so that. ammunition is literally giving them your life. Yes, my life is already out there, but I feel like it's a part of me that I can protect, mm. which is my mental health space. Because for us actors, your mental health space has to be good for you to function. That's true. So I protect my, because my emotional life is like my hate, safe haven. So I have to protect that for now. Okay, so uh, follow up on this uh, statement you just made. So if you're going to keep your private life private and then you get married and you just said that, oh, now we're going to be all out on social media, don't yeah. you think the same thing will happen? We'll be able to cushion the blows by then. The relationship mm. will be strong enough to cushion the blows. We would have already, you know, be strong enough. When something is not yet, like, you're not, you don't know if this is, this is it. Mm. One thing 2020 taught me is nothing is ever as it seems. Mm. Mm. So till it's, till it's a marriage, mm -hmm. let's just keep it quiet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk yeah. about that spiritual love on social media. Is that how you are in reality or oh, that is just for social media? No, it's not a facade. It's not a facade. Um, my relationship with God has been one thing that has pr pushed me and propelled me. So I, as much as I'm glam and whatnot, I made a pact with God that I would use my platform to, to praise him as long as he keeps me on top. Hmm. So it's a two-way relationship. So I, I have to keep talking about him for me to remain there. Hmm. So if I stop, there's a possibility I'm going to drop. <laughs> so you didn't, po you didn't post. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so about posting, I try not to do it. Myself. No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> Oje, Oje, Oje to know that she didn't post. We are spiritual. Uh -uh. Well, excuse me. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I try not to overdo it. Okay. Because at the same time, as much as I'm, some people say, oh, I help them with the way I do it. Mm. I want them to be able to do it on their own. Okay. Well, you can't fully really depend on me. Because hmm. even with myself, I'm looking for who to depend on spiritually. <laughs> All right, again, let's talk about 2021. Mm -hmm. It is yeah. here. We're looking yeah. forward to so many things. And especially with the fact that you gave us your best in 2020. You did. I mean, and you're not going to rest on your oars now. She's so not. what's going to happen in 2021? I have a fantastic movie coming out next month. Woo! On the tw I think 12th of February. It's called um, Still Falling. Hmm. I'm not trying to brag, but I gave my all to that character. So if you people liked Olotere, Get ready for still falling. Wow. So, like, like, right here first. Yes. Wow. It's, a, it's, a spirit, it's a movie that has um, a very huge spiritual backing. Hmm. So, yeah, it's a Christian story. Wow. Love that. Wow. Love that. Sister, wow. thank, thank you so much. <laughs> I mean, you're such a breath of fresh air. You're so thank pleasant. You. You're so friendly. Oh, so nice. <laughs> love it. Thank you so much for coming. I get to have a fight, kid. Wow. <laughs> thank you very much, Sharon. Thank you, guys. Thank you for more. From you 2021. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it on the first half of the show. When we come back in the second half, we still have more in store. So keep it locked. Thank you very much once again. Mm. Mm. So of the show. And well, it's now about that time. We're ranted. So mm. who's ranting today? I'm you good. are. I'm good. The jewel in the crown is ranting. <laughs> okay, so what exactly am I ranting about today? Hmm. Okay, so we've talked about this before, and uh, we, we would have to keep talking about it. You know what they call double standard? Everywhere in Nigeria, you find it. Uh, you know, maybe they're allowing certain people to park somewhere. So I was somewhere yesterday, and I just saw somebody uh, enter that gate, and they were saying that, no, you can't park, you can't come in. And I'm like, why? And then I got in there and found out that it wasn't just that car. Mm -hmm. There were other cars in there. Oh. And I'm like, so why? Mm -hmm. This one is not even about beautiful cars, though. Mm -hmm. So I think it's about how you can settle. Because behind Yay. me was a G-Wagon, and they did not allow the G-Wagon to park. Okay. So somebody went to confront, uh, maybe where uh, they had security there, and was like, so why do you people do that? And it's not saying there, there is no space, space here, but... and all that. And then they were just going about mumbling nonsense, you know, spewing Rubbish. Rubbish. And they now saw that, wow, this person has introduced herself as the director of something. She might know so-so person. Well, so before I knew it, there's no way we are bringing our 
vehicles. So why did they do that in the first place? It's and uh, this terrible. cuts across, it could be mm. anything. It might not even be vehicle, it might not be. So yeah. why is it that if you have a law, you say that, oh, we have our stuff here that we go by, why don't you just maintain it to the T? Like, okay, so you must allow anybody to go inside. Why would it be that certain people go in and other people would not? So what is that? Mm. Honestly, I can't believe we're talking about this in 2021. I thought we left in 2020, but apparently it followed us. It's a thing that happens. Uh, people want to respect you based on who you know, your connect, what you're driving, uh, the amount of money you have in your car, in your account, how you are dressing, and it's so wrong. As you said, if you're going to say it's policy that oh you can't do this, then as you said, follow it through to the end. Not that somebody will come and say ah he's the minister of this, he's the director of that. So we but what yeah, pencils? Yeah, nobody. Wow. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, this table that even want to say. Sorry. I don't even want to say anything. No, you want to say anything. Uh, it's very, it's very annoying. Yeah. Moonwalking. Yeah. Oh, God. Is it because oh, Sharon shit. was here? 2020. Moonwalking into 2021. Now, wow. The energy. Is it the footwear that is uh, making not, you. Sharon I'm just was here into earlier. I even saw you were sucking she was. He was blushing. I'm I saw walking, you. I'm I caught you. I'm walking into 2021. <laughs> oh, you look nice today, OJ. Thank you very much. <laughs> Of you. Oh, it doesn't expire in January. <laughs> 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 All right, moving on. It's time for a quick recap of the entertainment news. Yes, so we told you, like, how bad chieftaincy title. Yes, we also told you uh, that Alibaba shares his coronavirus experience, and that was actually quite scary. All right, guys, that's all we can take on the Entertainment News Recap. We'll tell you all about the movies and shows we recently watched or are currently watching after this break. You don't want to go anywhere, right? Don't miss it. So we are back now. It's time to talk about what are you watching? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is back again. This is where we'll tell you all about some of the movies and shows we recently watched. We'll also love to hear about yours later on. Feel free to tweet at us at TVC Connect with the hashtag eSplash on TVC. <laughs> Ladies, Amy D, and your girlfriend next door. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm sure the people watching up like, who are these people? Who is Amy D? Who is Amy D? It's last me. I even me. forgot when I said Amanda and she called me out. Yeah. Yeah. Amy D for life. Okay. Something that will end this week. So I said I was talking today. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, I am watching the series uh, Picture Perfect. Uh, yeah. So it's an Nigerian movie, of course. Uh, it was at the cinema some time ago, and it is directed by um, Tokwe Alake and uh, produced by Bjorn Stevens. So this particular one uh, has actors in it like um, Bjorn Stevens herself. You have uh, Mary Njoku, you have Visola Ayola, then the main one, not the series, but then in the series you have uh, Nino Luwo mm -hmm. Balanle, you have uh, Yvonne Jagadet, like the list is just endless like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, but, <laughs> okay, so I'll go back to the f movie and then now the series. So it, it, it is actually about this tout <laughs> who helped <laughs> this prim and proper uh, lady uh, and all that. They started a friendship somehow, but it quickly went sour after uh, she was a bit drunk one night or they went out and they had a good time and she discovered that she was pregnant for him because she was like, ah, a mm. whole me pregnant for this tout. But the tout was ready to take everything up. Like she, he was excited about it and really wanted to do everything. But this girl could not bring herself down to marrying this tout. And uh, well, they eventually had the child. And now it leads us to the series that I'm watching bit by bit on TV. Uh -uh. And yeah. I'm telling you, so now uh, the, the <laughs> town is so responsible that mm -hmm. they got the house and he went to because because of the way the woman was looking at down on him, like, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. He stops being the tout and went to the uh, skill that he learned. He's a, a, a carpenter and he's good at what he does. So he made baby cuts for the child and mm. was trying to prove that, see, I am I'm not useless, possible. I can do it, that I'm a tout does Aww. not mean that I can't take out yeah. uh, my, uh, my responsibility and all that. So, somehow, this tout, because the uh, prim and proper lady, Mary Njoku, is always pushing the tout away. Well, tout is now trying to have another girlfriend that is trying to force herself on him. And this Yay. one wants to go and meet uh, the Mary Njoku, the prim and proper woman, wanted to go and sort the, uh -huh. uh, for advice from the, from, the, <laughs> from the tout that, oh, what do we do? Our baby has rashes. Maybe you have some mm -hmm. herbs that mm -hmm. you can, you know, recommend. And just opened the door and found another girl that she was not annoyed. So her friend was now asking Von Jagadeda, of course, you said you don't like 
this guy. Why are you now cross? You are not married to him, yes? And you said he's a child. So why did you now begin to start having this, that, 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 that? And she was trying to say, no, it's not that. I just went that to, it's such an interesting one. I could go on and on, you know. Um, well done to everybody who's on that. Yes, it's always been the best and all of that. And uh, well... How would I rate it? Uh, what thing stuck out for me? Huh? This one, you will laugh and laugh and laugh. It's so hilarious. Like, mm -hmm. almost all the things. Like, you know, when they begin their talk and, uh, you know, the... The fight. The agree mm -hmm. and all that, mm -hmm. the fight. And when he was saying, yeah, 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 the three of the that speak, and the other one, yeah, 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 and say, ah, I need So, how would I rate it? Nine over ten, of course. I mean, Nine over so ten? Ah, uh, well... Perhaps because it's hilarious, like mm. there is you no know how mm. it takes away your sorry, just laugh and okay. laugh. Life is good, life is good. Hey, sounds very interesting. Nine over ten, that's the high school. That's crazy. Okay, uh, so yeah, uh, got... what movie did I watch? Um, I watched Omoghetto the Saga. Yes, actors in this film we have Funke Akindeli, we have Choma Akuta, we have Venola Badmos, we have. Uh, a whole lot. It's a star-studded one. I can't remember everybody's name. Uh, yeah, a star-studded one. Uh, the movie plot is about uh, Omogeto, who is supposed to be from a rich home, but she still decides to stay, go to the ghetto regularly to just go and chill and have fun because she has friends there. Mm -hmm. So she's a twin. And our other twin sister is responsible. She, she's irresponsible. She got into trouble one way or the other, tried to set her family up, and it caused a whole lot of drama. So I don't want to spill details about it, but yeah. Was it a good follow up? Denola Okunlan. Yes, yes, it's a good follow up. An hilarious movie, by the way. Um, what made the film interesting? Ah, I just like it that it's a good follow up, mm -hmm. and yes, you can still catch our attention, which, yeah. is, which is amazing. Yeah. Um, what scenes talk for me? A whole lot of scenes, man. Because Fuki Agdili and she had her own squad, her Agbero squad, her thug squad. And seems that seems like them as well interacting with another squad. So they are fighting, you know those mm, Yoruba Yoruba. Yeah. <laughs> 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 then, <laughs> then she's doing her own. Yeah. Choma Akota is putting her own <laughs> Igbo fuggery slang into, yeah, not into the not situation. This all this Can Igbo, Igbo. Mm, Yoruba Yoruba. No, 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 but you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, Tima, Tima. But yeah, Tima it. <laughs> Break the bottle. <laughs> so it was just hilarious. They were breaking on bottles on people's head, on what? their head. Like, hey, 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 hey. hilarious. I see with eyes no. Yes. And it's, <laughs> yes. It's, it's, this is unusual. Yes. Yeah. 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 Told me. So I watched it at the movies, and from beginning to the end, we were all just laughing. Yeah. Yeah. Even that has little cameo appearances. Hilarious. Brother yeah. Shaggy, yeah. Messiah Igbe, Nancy Sime, Demi Okonlawon, uh, Akanani. A whole lot of people star studded movie, and I like the fact that everybody represented well. Everybody had their little appearance, AY, mm -hmm, Trigger, mm -hmm. they had their little appearance, and they killed their character. I'm really looking forward to it. Because I am. Uh, when Nigerian movies are star, star studded, sometimes. Yeah, it doesn't think yeah. it doesn't really I, was, just... I, I was shocked by this one. I was shocked by this one because everybody. I think he was everybody... very careful. Like yeah. everybody I've mentioned are actually very talented Visible. and funny. Yes. Naturally funny. So I'm looking <laughs> forward actually, to just that. Just little appearance. Yes. He came and did. Do you know me? How would you rate it? Over, ah, 10. over 10. I will give it 9 over 10. What? I will give it 9 over 10. For you to just make me go to the movies, okay. I did not, not decide to watch any foreign movie. I decided to watch a Nigerian movie. You know what? And from exciting. beginning to the end, I was mm. just laughing. Mm. This is so This is exciting. exciting. Yeah. Picture perfect. I'm going to 9 over 10. That is Nollywood to the world, man. Yes, yes, Okay, yeah. but I didn't watch a Nollywood film. <laughs> Maybe I'll give you a bit of diversity. I yeah. watched a series that is foreign. Uh, it's called Lock and Key. So I it finished. sounds like an Nigerian title. Funny enough, <laughs> oh, but, <laughs> but it's not. It's, it's featuring um, some newer acts like Emilia Jackson, Connor Jesse up, and so many other people that are talented. I think that's what uh, is going on now. Mm -hmm. It's bringing in new acts. So basically, it's uh, centered around a magical house. Um, so a, a particular family lost their dad, and they went back to their family house. Um, to stay, so she is into reinventing homes and stuff like that. And so, the last born, the last child, started finding out, started hearing some things, and saying that it was a woman talking to him in the well. Hey. Uh, that's how he found out that there was a key, yeah. right? So it's all about keys in this in this series. But the keys do different things. They have keys to become a ghost. There's a key that once you put it in a door, you can reach anywhere in the world as long as you see the door. This is Juju. <laughs> Yeah, this is actually foreign juju. <laughs> and then there's a key to enter your head. 
and actually pick out your memories. Mm -hmm. There's a key where um, she was able to attack her fear. She removed the fear from her mind and buried it. So she had no fear. So um, it's super interesting. So we keep finding out what's so special about this house, what's so special about the keys, the story about the father, why the father died. So it's, it has, it's, it's every, Every episode has a mad cliffhanger. It's a new one. It's season one. There's no, uh, there's no season two yet. However, season two is coming out this year. Season three is already in the works. So, I mean, people are loving it. Uh, what made this film interesting is just that you would think it's cliche, uh, magical stuff. Duh. But it's not a wand. It's not a, uh, a witch situation. School. It's actually making a key look interesting. So I thought that they were able to kill that because sometimes I'm just holding a key and looking at it. That's fantastic acting, by the way. <laughs> um, which scene stuck out for me? Wow, this is, actually, this is actually very deep. I think I'm going to talk about the fear one where she was able to enter her head. She has OCD. So in, depending on how your personality, your head looks like different things. So the little boy's head looked like a movement park because it's little. <laughs> then her own head looked like a mall. And then it was arranged. All I could think of was maybe OJ. <laughs> like OJ's mind. You don't have like cabinets. OK, daddy's memories, this. mommy's memories, relationship, <laughs> Jonah. Ah, ah. It was, it was mm -hmm. actually quite arranged. And she was able to find her fear. And she was able to tackle it, bring it out, and everything. I'm like. What if you could do that in real life? That would be amazing. True. But that would be amazing. <laughs> that I thought about this when you were saying, like, yeah, if you could bring out your pet and then you bury it and, and then you're the just fine. The other scene that stuck out is the one we just saw where he was a ghost and he was just traveling. Like, imagine having the ability to fly. I've always wanted to fly, but my parents say <laughs> that is it's only witches that do that. Yeah, so thank you. You've always that. wanted to fly and you did not go and be a pilot. <laughs> and then you're not just kind of just saying, no, like, not fly, fly. Well, let me just which crafts, <laughs> which crafts, which crafts fly. No, it's. It's nice. It's witchcraft. Is it witchcraft? That we just see you on top flying. Yes, I'm like... not a witch. <laughs> but yeah, how will I rate the movie out of 10? I'm going to give it a solid 8. Um, mm. Because for a new series, I thought that they killed it. I thought that they made me want to watch season 2. And I'm the kind of person that can stop a yeah. series halfway. So, Amanda, yeah. Amanda has come with all this series. How many episodes? Uh, 12. <laughs> Wow, interesting. Go watch it. Go watch it. Very interesting. Yeah. interesting and stuff. Right. Lock, and yeah. <laughs> Lock and key. Okay. Lock and key. All right. Lock and Nigerian, key. By the Picture way. perfect. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, guys. Let's go on this music break. And we will definitely, definitely return. Stay here with us. <laughs> back ladies and gentlemen yes, and we right are. about now it's time to take your reactions via social media on twitter and facebook mm -hmm. and we have a couple on facebook i'll be taking them um this one is from melody ezekiel and she says i'm watching our rang it's a korean movie oh, how, do you, mm, there how, do you, we go. how do you be watching this korean movie by the way i leave me <laughs> You can ask some people that are not on this set. But, yeah, but do you know that me? I can't even, sometimes I can't, I mean, I don't understand, especially when I see... Um, no, they're when, very interesting. Or when people say, mm. um, when people say... Uh, they have a group, uh, Women. Yes, oh, yeah. like, I am not they're in that group. group. I, I think it has something addictive about it, because I used to say that until I started watching one, <laughs> and <laughs> the episode that they just know is not in. It's love. Ah, please. But there was a particular the one thing. that I watched that was really, really good. They actually are very, very good actors. Yeah. Another yeah. try. <laughs> All right, so on Twitter right here, Debbie Josh is saying, Happy Tuesday, guys. Same to you, darling. Hmm, I finished watching the Bridgerton. Oh, you did. You did. You did. You did. Yeah. She said, I am struggling with it. <laughs> so she said she reminded me of Mills and, it reminded her of Mills and Boons. Uh-huh. When the meet, quarrel, and later find love. I already ate over 10. And I'm also watching Hush, a Nigerian series. It's very intriguing. A combination of love, fashion, politics, and family. I already it 9 over 10. Look at that. Our Nigerian film got 9 over 10, mm -hmm. while um, the other one got 8. Britain. What was that say? <laughs> so I have a quick mm. one. See, you people that are having conversation about Bridgerton, you people should leave Twitter and not be having conversation about Bridgerton on that app. You can go to Facebook and have a conversation. I'll just, I'll just say Bridgerton is trending. I'll see some of the characters trending. Like, not on Twitter now. You people go and open WhatsApp group and be having the conversation there. You. Please. Please, Twitter is for all. Please. All right, I hope, get to that. I hope that I will get to that point. Be that I'll, just be stuck. That I'll just be stuck. All right, so we have this one from Oluchi. That is at uh, Miracle Oli, who's saying, just finished seeing God 
befriended me. So this atheist, um, Miles. okay, Miles, receives a friend request from God on Facebook, and he subsequently gets friends' suggestion of people he'd have, he would have to figure out a way to help with uh, help from his friends, uh, Kara and Rakesh. Uh, crybabies should watch with tissue. So wow, I interesting stuff. Yeah, interesting. I haven't watched God friended me, but I've watched God calling, and I feel like it was a good... Um, Hold up. No, a good Nigerian version. I don't know what the name okay, is. Okay, okay, okay. Right? And it was actually really interesting, but I think this one was a call. So God called in the Nigerian version. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Yes. True, true, true. But I feel like um, God friended me is a, one of those very powerful things. Like, what? how can, how far would God go to actually seek for your love? Yeah. Or uh, so I said emotional it, stuff. Yeah, because very, so I said people will cry. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, will cry, you will cry, uh, including you, OJ. <laughs> Hell no. Um, yes, yeah, still on Facebook. This one is from Laura <laughs> Ob, and she says, "I started watching The Honest Thief, and I was watching it with my partner, but concentration no allow me. But when the first ten minutes, I watched it. It was really interesting. What uh -uh. happened after Mr. the first Mr. Laura, Mr. Laura Obi's husband? Why did you distract her from watching? No, what's me? I just want to know what happened after the twenty minutes. She went to cook. <laughs> yeah. She me. I'm looking for conversation. My husband <laughs> distracted <laughs> me. Oh. Hey, what hey. Husband God, when? Husband, when? God, husband, when? Mrs. Laura's uh -huh. husband came and this said, "This woman is oppressing us." Is it only food? My husband. She said, she said, my husband could it be another thing? Us. Uh, it's food I can remember. Oh, what can you think of? Ah, I'm so, just thinking, okay, it's only food. It's the only, yeah. Because, mm. okay. I mean, food just takes, what, how many minutes? Yeah. You could have finished it. But yes. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still on Twitter, Oscar Toby saying, happy Tuesday, guys. Same to Tuesday, you. Tuesday, Tuesday. I'm watching Greenland. And I'm, I, I, I don't know if he's trying to say Greenleaf, but he said Greenland. There's Greenland. There's Greenland. There's Greenland. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm rating it 75% because it's cool in, yeah. to watch. All yeah. right, so we've got Shadi here mm -hmm. at Favor. Who's saying? Power book two, ha huh? Wahala for who know they watch power big Wahala yes, for you. Oh, we went so, to watch power. OJ has talked about so this power book for like, like the series, for days. the episode that came out on Sunday, mm -hmm. epic. Tariq that we used to eat from the power itself. It's, they are beginning to love that stupid boy now. <laughs> because stupid boy is now behaving like his father, who used to be ghost that he killed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he killed his father, but now it's now a bad guy. It's not like you. Yeah, because it's actually certain issues. Saving his mother, saving his mother, saving his family. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So let's move so on. So sometimes okay. I can never understand certain things, but then who But, yeah. but tell me about this Greenland. Greenland, um, the end of the world. Um, uh, those asteroids that were hitting Earth, uh -huh. and they have a place they called everybody... It's just few people that had the call from the government that we have a place called Greenland where we are keeping people safe oh. so that the disaster happening won't affect you. Oh, yeah, so I said 75%. Yes, yes. Mm. Um, okay. This one on Facebook, Benedict Suego says, I'm watching Wonder Woman 1984. Ooh. I would rate it 7 over 10. What? I'm a little bit offended. 7 over 10. You want to be like 9.5. Some, some people will disagree with you. Well, Trisha, you, I had conversations with some people and okay. they were like, they didn't really like it. Yeah, yeah I loved it. They're not, not feminist, guys. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> Just joking, but I thought Wonder Woman was quite fantastic. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. maybe he wanted to watch Superman. Yeah, uh, perhaps. Okay, still wrapping up Facebook <laughs> messages. Uh, Favor Abakook says living in bondage. Mujare to Ele Ojo says, "Hey guys, I'm recently I recently watched Citation. I rated nine over ten. Mm. Mm. Yes. I, I really love about, about, yeah, I really love that Nollywood films are getting mm -hmm. such high ratings. It shows that we're actually moving forward. Mm -hmm. um, what's the other one you said before Citation? Living in bondage. Living in bondage. Another night. Oh, well, even in bondage well. was out fantastic, of the world. Fantastic, mm -hmm. fantastic mm -hmm. movie. All right, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, that's all we can take on movies you're currently watching. We'll be back after this break for Daily Top 5. I love, love, love Bruno Mars. Like, there are so many things I love about yes. Bruno Mars. Oh, wow, Versace, I can't begin to Versace even talk about the dance floor. Mm. Bruno Mars be singing. Well, and like, he's so effortless in like, dancing. Yes. Sing it. What? Happy child. <laughs> happy, 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 happy. All right, now, wow. 2021 is the official spillover year for movies. Not only are we looking forward to fresh movies this year, we're also looking forward to movies uh, whose release had to be postponed to this year due to the COVID pandemic. We are hopeful that things will be better this year and there won't be any more postponement. Amen. Fingers crossed. Inshallah. Here are five movies of whose release we are anticipating this year. This is the Little Five. Four, three, two, one, two. So 
we start with coming to America. After over three decades, Prince Akim and Sami are returning stateside from their homeland of Zamunda. Akim will also learn that he has a long lost son he never knew about who might be the heir to the throne. Uh, much of the original cast is returning, including James Earl Jones, John Amos, Eddie Murphy, and Arsenio Hall. The film, which was formally slated for December 2020 release will now be released on March the 5th, 2021. We don't know yet if it will hit cinemas, but we do know that it is set for an amazing, uh, that is a prime release. And uh, well, we're so looking forward to this. Yay, oh, coming to America. America. I wow. can't wait for this new award. Ooh. Yes, they use Recross House. For most of the shoots, yes. yes they said it. Um, David also is supposed to make a cameo appearance nice. in this one. Yes, everybody said and, something yeah, like yes. Then I watched, I watched the first one, uh, uh, Christmas Christmas Day. To just to just refresh okay, to just Christmas refresh Day. the memory. Uh, we I'm had like, that. anybody saw that? Not watch it <laughs> no, no, just just to refresh memory. Uh, and being an Amazon original, one would uh, just wonder which platform they're going to place that on a wedding because we're looking forward to like okay, mm -hmm. the cinema, the cinema. To they might bring it to the cinema. Mm -hmm. Then maybe after later. Corona. But honestly. Speaking, I'm a little bit tense about this one because it's just you think like spoil it? I hope they don't. It's a classic, and you know Eddie Murphy was much younger then, yeah. you know, but now he's like a father, so it now all depends on this new person. I think that we're all looking forward to seeing to the who the son is. Let me know. No. Hey! Hey, 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 David, David. Guess what? Yeah. Guess what? Guess what? That it's it If it be with him, I know. Don't talk about that. I guess. I guess those characters. They will be playing the video in this movie. I guess they will just have that palace, that yeah, house he party. Yeah, he came to perform. I came to perform. What if he in the and then he does well? Then, but guess what? And when we're doing A and V C A, they will not collect like three awards. Hey, he will not collect Grammy or Oscars. All right. So, okay. so, uh, David Doe. <laughs> David Doe will not be the son. No, don't say it. But looking forward. Looking forward. Don't, don't mind. Don't mind, Doe. You can dream as, as, as wildly <laughs> yeah. as you want to. Okay? Yeah, so, if it be David Doe. It could be. It might not also be. So, that you don't get disappointed. But we're looking forward to that one. We also have another movie on the list. It's called Black Widow. Now, the first Marvel, uh, Marvel properties kick off in phase four will be the prequel focusing on Scarlett Johansson as Natasha Romanoff. Natasha Romanoff finds herself alone and forced to confront a dangerous conspiracy with ties to her past. Pursued by a force that will stop at nothing to bring her down, Romanoff must deal with her history as a spy and the broken relationships left in her wake long before she became an Avenger. The film, which was initially to be released in November 2020, will now be released in May. I've always found it best not to look into the past. Mm. Yeah, I can't wait for this particular one. Huh. Black Widow. Um, Scarlett Johnson, Johnson is one of my favorite actresses. She the way. is. She's I a fantastic her. actress. I However, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it looks like I'm the devil's advocate today, but um, I'm like, I understand her being a part of, you know, other, the Avengers, uh, the Avengers but a standalone, mm -hmm. I hope that they're able to <laughs> really bring her out because she doesn't have any special powers. You, you don't right? want to mess with Marvel, She doesn't man. have any special, she's, she's really, she's a highly skilled uh, martial, hey. um, martial mm -hmm. fighter so, so or something. Like but, they bring in something yeah, they have to bring in something to make it interesting. The way those people mm. write their stories, the way they can link, Twist. they will link Thor mm -hmm. to Avengers, mm. link Black Panther. But look at Thor, the hammer, you know, but let's see, maybe she have like a big spike. That's, That's why we're looking forward yeah. to that. Okay, <laughs> so now let's talk about No Time to Die. The 25th James Bond film will see Daniel Craig returning for his faith and, uh, well, presumably final turn as 007 is joined 007, mm. 007 and is joined by series ser 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 regulars uh, Ralph Fiennes, Naomi Harris, Rory Kinnear and Ben Whishaw. Uh, recent uh, Best Actor winner Rami Malik and is reported to play the villain. Now the film which was initially slated for a November 2020 release will now hit cinemas in April. The most valuable asset this country has if you feel yourself losing control, I'm not going to lose. 
icon, mm. which was wow, the black and you double oh seven. Double oh seven, yeah, true that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a new special agent. Double so I like the fact that they're bringing in Daniel Craig to kind of like, would I say wrap introduce her, or wrap it up, and then and the new pass 007. the baton onto her, mm -hmm. and they're making such a huge statement with the fact that she's, she's black, she's, and she's female, she, she's African American, and she's also female. What, what is mm. that? <laughs> He's like, just say, they do, like, what's that? Yes, no. Oh, he's oh. like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it freedom? I am tired. I can't wait. I can't wait for the <laughs> new James Bond, by Honestly, the way. Honestly, I, I don't know what Daniel Craig is doing. Fifth time. Well, no, I'm not saying that. But it's so interesting that he, they keep bringing him back no, to play this, this 007. Will be the last. After Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We are not a fan. Yeah. All right, we have another movie on the list. It's called Mortal Kombat. Finish it. Finish him. <laughs> now, if you've been waiting for the inevitable Mortal Kombat reboot, 2021 has got you covered with Lewis Tan, Mechad Brooks, and Joe Taslim attached to star. The newest franchise installment is bound to hit uh, with fan city, martial arts, action film lovers. James Wan is producing, so there's bound to be some of the magic that made the Saw franchise so, so successful. Now, the film should hit cinemas in April with a simultaneous release on HBO Max. And rule as they see fit. Ah, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. I'm looking forward to this one. Yeah, we've seen a whole lot of cartoons and games. They mm -hmm. remake them. Uh, yeah, we've seen Street Fighter. Uh, have there we've been a Mortal Kombat, Kombat movie? There should have been a one animation. And I'm not sure so, there has been. A new one? I'm not sure. Back, back, but right. maybe so, it's been a long time ago. So, a real man being Sub-Zero now do Finish him, freeze. I'm looking for Ka Ka Katiana. That's my favorite character mm. for Mortal Kombat. So I think that yeah. because you have not seen anything like that before, uh -huh. and then you cannot imagine it, so it's... We'll just see. No, we'll honestly, I am looking forward to it. You know, you know why he's not interested? Because mm -hmm. they say yeah. that Mortal Kombat is for women. Apparently, women I like know, it more than... No, I don't, no, I, don't no. Think, I don't think that's the reason. It, was a, it was a conversation I had somewhere where they were like, oh, men are into um, soccer. soccer and oh, women play Mortal Kombat. Right. I was like, what's the meaning of that? But <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to it personally. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. F9. Mm. Yes, it's full throttle and pedal to the metal for the Fast and Furious gang as this new entry is set to bring the family back together to face off against a new villain uh, played by John Cena. Uh, the film was originally slated to open in May of 2020 but was pushed back almost a year to May of this year to occupy the slot that had originally been reserved for Fast and Furious 10. Who is he? Film trick in this is the trailer alone. It, it, you can ask me. Yeah, somebody standing on car, catching car, pushing car, and rope is dragging. Hey, Fast and Furious being able to do this nine but, times. But it's not up. becoming too much, man. Are you sure? No, but like look how tricks, excited you tricks, are. Yeah, the tricks, but. We'll just be watching and say, oh, I'm mad about this guy. We're not lying now. <laughs> we can't be flying and they'll just throw rope and you'll catch the rope and you'll. You know. I'm done. But well, it's definitely possible because definitely I'll watch it. Uh, gosh, I yeah, went to it. I went to Ferrari World in Abu Dhabi, and then they were telling me about how they used they a particular shoot, they shot yeah, so, so I, I think that because there, there are some times that you see some things, you're like ah ah. There are some things that I'm not even getting on. <laughs> like what? Stunt. It's like you want to die. Like crazy. no 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 crazy, no 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 crazy. no. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with our daily top five. We'll be back for more right here on the show. Keep it locked. <laughs> Of movies, yeah. but it's a bowl of popcorn. They're having popcorn when you're watching. They're using hey. not well, entertainment, that's it. Well, you see, it's <laughs> wraps, uh, the producers should think about this, that when we're talking about movies, Tuesdays, to make it on Tuesdays, So you'd have to say, like, we bring what is Kabakala Johnson? Uh, now that, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, of course, it's like we're chatting, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> All right, so let's help you make your movie watching decision easier this week. These are some of the movies in our June cinemas this week. So, in Hollywood, Soul. Jerry is a middle school band teacher whose life hasn't quite gone the way he expected. His true passion is jazz and is good, but when he travels to another realm to help someone find their passion, he soon discovers what it means to have soul. Mm. Alice Braga, Angela Bassett, uh, Jamie Foxx, Quest Lover, Richard Ayuade are some of the stars in this film. I can't smell. We can't. We can't. We've been hearing a lot of things about it. We don't want to have anything to do with it. It's interesting. Uh, Amanda's people. Uh, yeah, See, uh, 
What you yeah. mean? But I heard it. <laughs> See, you know, when you read it and I heard Jamie Foxx, Quest Love, Richard yeah. Ayoade, I was like, okay, nice movie. And then I'm like, animation, ah, blow my mind. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I'm going to watch it. <laughs> Anyways, in Nollywood, we have Introducing the Kujus. Now, the movie revolves around the Kujus siblings who are tricked by their youngest sister into visiting the village for a remembrance of their late mother. Five years after her death, the loss of their uh, matriarch left a gaping hole in the family due to her role as a unifying factor. The siblings will soon find out that the tension between them was underestimated. Actors include Bimbo Ademoye, Bisola Yola, Femi Jacobs, Kunle Remy, MC Lively, Ronke Odusonya, and Timini Igbosun. My name is Chooks, a uh, political science major. Uh, soon to be. Uh, <laughs> I really want to yes. I can't even wait yeah. to watch this. I can't wait to. Had such positive reviews online. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so much fun. Jeez. But apparently, we have to go. Stepping into 2021. Yes, with a drip, drip, drip. Come to drip it. Drip, drip. Yeah. The drip is by. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The drip is by King OJ. Yes, I'm sir. your girl, Amy D, for today. <laughs> and this is. Hi, Pat. And we're saying have a lovely afternoon. Bobby, be safe. Mm -hmm. Keep washing your hands, keep mm -hmm. wearing your mask, mm -hmm. keep sanitizing, mm -hmm. and keep practicing social distancing. We yes, love so you. So. I'm Mwah. still learning Mwah. MD. Mwah. Tomorrow. I'm still learning MD. MD. Yeah. MD. I'm still learning MD. <laughs> you get used to it. Ah. <laughs>